I grew up in Southern California and always dreamed of living in Northern California. So as soon as I became old enough to do so, I moved up here, went to college, um, and then got a job with the state of California working in, in Northern California. So my area was Marin to the Oregon border. And I fell in love with the Mendocino Coast early on. It was just one of the most stunning places I had ever seen. This is a new trail that's opened in the last few years in Fort Bragg, California. You're standing on 420 acres of what used to be the former industrial mill site for Georgia Pacific. That's one third of the city's entire jurisdiction. And it was closed off from the community for uh, 150 years. And so most people who grew up in this town never saw their coastline from end to end. I remember in particular was this 90 year old lady and she could, you know, she was trucking, she's doing well and she had tears in her eyes and she said to me, you know, I've lived in Fort Bragg my entire life and this is the first time I've ever seen my own ocean. So opening this trail was a huge spiritual thing for our community because people who've lived here their whole lives finally got to see their own ocean and experience it. And sure, it's great for tourists and it makes our town more of a tourist destination, but I think the biggest thing here is that, you know, when I'm on the trail, my biggest gratitude for the work that I did to make this happen is people saying to me, great job, Marie, love it. Like, you can't get better happiness than that. Oh, people are, I mean, literally jubilant to be out here on the coast and, and to have it connect. It's really interesting because we finally are seeing the coast connect to the heart of downtown and that's a really great part. So people can see the connection between the two pieces. Now the GP mill site used to employ 2,000 people in Fort Bragg. They closed in 2001, which put our community through a big change. So we started talking with GP about acquiring the site and they donated $5 million worth of property to the city. The city also bought an additional $4.2 million of property and then we started designing the project. And now we're just finishing our last little segment this year. So it's pretty exciting. We raised over $12 million for this project. In addition to the $5 million donation that GP gave us in land, that makes this project an $18 million project. So that was a big challenge. So this is a project that has 95% positive support from everything, everybody in the community. Doesn't matter your political stripe, doesn't matter when you moved here, doesn't matter anything. Everybody loves it and I think it's just being here, you can get that. It's like a spiritual place, it's a beautiful place, it's a natural place and it's our coast. Fort Bragg is a really interesting community. It's an ex extremely diverse community. We have um, a real mix of people from all socioeconomic groups. It's a community in transition because really the mill was what was the main supporter of this community for many years. Living in Fort Bragg in the Mendocino Coast is incredible. I mean, I, I can't imagine a more beautiful place to live. I think, it's, I think it's one of the most spectacular places I've visited in my life. The thing I love about most about Fort Bragg is it's still a real city. I mean, real people live here. It's not just retirees. It's like people who grew up and lived here and have worked here in different areas. And so there's just like a lot of, you know, there's a lot of interest in meeting people and getting to know them here and that, that's part of what I love about Fort Bragg. It's a real town and it's, there aren't that many real towns on the coast anymore. I think we're all drawn to the coast for various reasons, but when you live in a town that is completely oriented away from the coast because it's closed off, you don't get to share that. Now we have a coast that's open up, people get to come out here for whatever reason. People, some people like marine mammals, some people want to go down to the tide pools, other people want to see uh, you know, array of different kinds of activities happening here on the coast, but everybody is so excited. It's rejuvenated this town. Yeah, we're standing in front of what we call our Crow's Nest Interpretive Center. It's this great little A-frame building. It's the only thing out here on the trail right now. It was opened about two years ago. It used to be the former visitor center for GP and they were going to tear it down, so we moved it over here, uh, put it on the coast and filled it full of skeletons and a touch tank aquarium and a bunch of other things for people to come in and enjoy while they're walking the trail. We're looking at um, our touch tank aquarium. It's called a Zero Edge Aquarium. We were able to use this with our education program at, uh, with, the, with the kids. So basically when the kids come out, we put a bunch of these animals, sea stars, urchin, 
uh, crabs on the outer rim and then they can come and touch these animals and, and feel connected to them. The oceans are vital to our very existence on this property. I mean, they absorb most of the carbon from the atmosphere. They feed us. They, we recreate. I mean, they're part of our lives in so many different ways. And if we don't protect these uh, resources that we find valuable, we will suffer. But I think on a larger scale, we need to protect the overall health of the ocean for our survival. Well, the Coastal Trail will become a reality. It's just going to take a long time. So the entire 1,100 miles of coastline in California will take us a while to do. But I think once we have that trail, it will change the way people recreate on this coast. And it will really, I hope, move us from uh, more car-centric to, to walking and biking and things that I think are much more uh, healthy for our communities. Mm -hmm.